All right, what is up guys? Jared KMPZ back with my good buddy Dotto, who looks about 20 years younger because he shaved for the first time in 14 years, uh, for another episode of the Carbon V4 series where we take a 2018 Ducati Panigale V4S to make it one of the lightest, fastest in the world, and then we give it away when we're done. If you guys want to support and be entered to win this bad boy, there's only a couple of episodes left, so check out the first link in the description below to the Patreon page. Uh, today, we're going to be adding some beautiful Rizomo Reservoirs to this bad boy. I'm excited, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so this is what we got on the agenda today. These beautiful Rizoma reservoirs that we got through Manny at Moto Million, uh, all blacked out, gonna be replacing all of the stock ones. Um, we also got the uh, bracket hardware here. Uh, we got the rear brake light switch, which we should have installed a while ago, but hey, who uses the rear brake anyway? Um, and we also have this cool um, screen protector from Speed Angels, which is also through Moto Million. All this stuff we got through Manny at Moto Million. If you're interested, um, there'll be direct links in the description below. You can also always use code CAMPEZ to save yourself some money, and I appreciate everyone who has been using it. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what we're gonna be doing today. You, you guys Speed excited? Speed Angels, but it's Speedo Angels. Speedo, Speedo. 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 Like speedo. You speedo? <laughs> Let's get started. Teens has been trying to get this thing open. Oh, and then no, she just did it so I easily. Not. Look at that. Beautiful. So these are the new ones they just came out with. Ducati uh, by Rizoma. They just came out with these uh, for this year, so they're brand new. Well, they look really, really good. I, honestly, to be if you spend thirty thousand dollars on a motorcycle, I really don't understand why they're putting these horrible plastic. Because they want you to spend more money. Reservoirs on there, like look at the difference. That would be the other side, but I know. yeah, you get the idea. It's just it. It really makes the motorcycle look so much more premium. And the cockpit is something that you stare at all the time when you're riding. Cockpit. <laughs> yeah. Staring at cock all the time. Um, so it's it's a it's a place that you really it's nice when you do upgrades because it just looks so so good and you see that all the time. So all right, so we got a towel down here because brake fluid is highly corrosive. We don't want it touching any of the beautiful full six carbon. Um, first thing we're gonna do is unhook unscrew this guy. We're gonna remove it from the bracket and then we're just gonna dump out all that fluid or suck it out depending on all right, using the biggest screwdriver in the world right here. <laughs> <laughs> and off comes the cap and now we can suck it out there you go I'll never forget when my dad told me what he used a turkey baser for <laughs> what do you use it for cleaning a woman's butthole wait really that's what he was telling me yeah wait that's what he, he like he did it it was a joke but it's what he was saying we are a giant I am so sorry I asked yeah well you asked so all right so now all he's doing is pulling that clip back. He's gonna pull it off of there. Hopefully he got enough sucked out that it won't shoot all over his uh, J Camp Fit shirt. <laughs> That's a limited edition shirt right there. It is. Um, and I do wanna mention, um, the cool thing about re uh, replacing the reservoirs is it's something that not only does it make a big difference, uh, you can see immediately how much better that looks, but um, I mean they're relatively inexpensive and it's something that pretty much everyone can do uh, on their own. So, so highly highly suggested mod for you to do on any of your super bikes and again moto million is where we get all of ours from so highly recommend them we gotta put the bracket in yet oh yeah but bracket. that's pretty much how it's gonna sit yeah that's how it's gonna look look at that with the black uh bars fuck it looks so primo you need the black bracket yep and there's the black brackets Bracket. brackets do you want to know what my dad said they were used for no i don't, <laughs> I don't wanna know. All right, so we got it installed there, kind of mocking it up. Obviously, we don't like how that line is sitting, but we need to make sure that we keep it away from the steering stabilizer. So I think we can trim a little bit off here, Dada was saying, and then it should sit a little bit better, but look at that. All right, so just like that, Dada cut it, and now it looks fantastic, no kinks. Don't even notice it, nice blacked out. Look at that, hell yeah. All right, let's move on to the next side. All right, so I can't stop looking at that. Dotto was saying it just ties everything in there. Looks so freaking good. Uh, we're gonna swap the towel over, start taking this one apart, and get this one swapped. Just repeating the process, sucking it out. If you didn't have one of these um, turkey baster suckers, you could just dump it out. Just be careful that you don't get it all over the place. We like to just, you know, be as careful as possible. When you dump it out, make sure no fluid comes out of the line because then it'll suck air back in. Yeah, that would be bad. So swap the new one over. We put the clamp back on there, and we'll see if we need to modify the hose at all. But look at that. Oh, I love blacked out stuff. 
Oh my god, stealth mode for the win. Where's that bracket, teens? Teens, come on. You're, you're slacking on your brackens. You're slackings on the brackens. Sprecken Sie Deutsch. All right, so we got it installed. This one looks pretty much perfect right out of the right out of the gates. So the bracket looks good. The line is perfect, doesn't have any kinks or anything like that. We'll check and make sure we like how it's sitting, move the bars, make sure it's not hitting anything. But oh, it went right in the oh, uh, it's a, it's a good. shop towels for the win. It's like a brand new freaking towels. <laughs> but yeah, looks good. Let's okay. take a look. The side hits. Does it? Yep. Oh, okay, we're so gonna, we'll have to push it down a little. We're gonna have to tweak it a little bit. All right. All right, now let's see if it hits. Nope. Perfect. Look at those freaking reservoirs together. Looks so, so good. You like it? Heck yeah, I do too. All right, um, we're gonna finish and tighten everything down, button it up here, and then we'll put some uh, brake fluid in there. Premium dot four that we got from Calps Ducati. It's what they recommend. Go ahead and fill these bad boys up. Which one are you starting with? I need to look at the max mark. Is there one on there? Yeah, in the front. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see if you can do it without dripping all over the bike. Perfect. Hey, so good work. Other side? Uh, let's slowly press this. Don't let it shoot out all over the place. That's what she said. <laughs> all right, clutch side. Go ahead, bud. I see the mark. We'll go through here. That clean screen, perfect. That Christina just cleaned. Phenomenal job, babe. <laughs> so there you go, guys. They're both filled up perfectly uh, in the right spots. And look at that cockpit. It looks so, so good. That's kind of it. It looks so premium. Look at those. God, I love it. Good work, Dotto. All right, moving on to the uh, rear one. All right, so actually before we do the rear reservoir, we're gonna do the uh, rear brake light switch. So we're gonna swap this bad boy out. And the, right now the only way the rear brake light comes on is if you use the front brake, which is the only brake you ever really use. Wait, that's no. not the brake you're supposed to use, teens? No. Enlighten us, R3 rider. <laughs> Enlighten us which brakes you yeah, use. R6. R6. You, she did ride my Jigster 600. She likes Yamaha so much she just called Jared's <laughs> Jigster. <laughs> Teens, what did you think of my Jigster? It was really good. Zero to 100 like that. She was R3. riding like a maniac. She I used to put around on that R3. Runs. Yeah, she used to put around on the R3 and she got on my Jigster and was riding like a maniac. All right, so anyway, we're gonna swap this first because it might get some air in the line. We're gonna do our best not to let that happen. And then we can swap out that stock poopy reservoir. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little guy in, it's a pressure switch, so whenever you, whenever fluid presses up against a diaphragm in here, it switches the uh, brake light to come on and off. What we have to do is take this banjo bolt out, replace it with this banjo bolt, and we're golden. Let's see how much brake fluid we lose. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully none. Let's see how good you really are, Dado. Listen, don't put this on me. <laughs> Maybe we would have had this switch when we did the rear set. <laughs> we wouldn't be having to do this right now. Jared's pretty rough with the blame game here. Yeah, when I don't wrench anything, huh? Uh... Nice. Nice switcheroo. First part done. All right, what are we doing here, Dotto? All right, I like to test things before we proceed Splice with Splice wires, yeah. Yeah, so... I already got the switch in, the crush washers are on, everything's nice and tight. Uh, I got my continuity tester on there. I don't know if you guys can hear it coming on. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> um, I heard it, there you go. Yep. Right, so we're gonna put that on here, one in here, one in here. Go ahead and hit that brake down. I might have to push it once or twice. There it is. It's me not holding it right. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Yep. So now we can splice. Yep. Time to splice. Splicey dice. Cut and zip ties so we can pull out the original rear brakes light switch, which is that guy there. We're gonna get rid of him. We little, no longer need it. Little mechanical guy. Saving, we're saving weight, guys. That's what we're doing right now. Okay, this is what we were looking for. That guy right there is coming out. <laughs> Blow up the bombs, baby. Yep, we're gonna cut this. Yep. And then we're gonna splice it into this guy. 
And then now the wires are extra extra long. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna cut them like, cut them like here, and then I'll leave a little bit on here. And then we'll splice her in. Yep. And then plug the harness back in, and we're good to go. Yep. So I made the cuts there. Now he's just trimming back the uh, parts he's gonna use to attach the other one, and. He can get his heat gun out and heat shrink it and it'll be, we're just having a party here guys. Having a freaking blast. Tightening down the connectors. One on each side. Look alive. And then attaching the harness right there. Look at him go. He told me this is gonna be better than factory when he's done. You know what guys? I believe him. I never said that. <laughs> God damn it, Dotto. <laughs> nope. Get that heat gun going. What nope. the heck, Dotto? Nope. No fuel? Nope. Oh. I couldn't pay my gas That's bill. my favorite part. Couldn't pay my gas bill. <laughs> hey, good news. Dotto has two. <laughs> Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Look at this. So that his other one was out of fluid too, but then he found three more. Do any Please tell me one of these works. Let's, let's try number one. Let's see if any of these work. My guess is no. Oh, oh got one. Okay. This one needs an igniter, but this is a super nice one. And then cool. this guy. Let's see. Cool story. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. There you go. All right, choose your weapon. Yeah, let me see if this works Choose on your weapon. Ready? Don't you dare. This is one of my favorite parts. Nice and toasty. Warm it up a little bit in here. Really? Just for good measure, wrap that bitch with electrical tape to make sure it doesn't short out or get any water in there or stop working at all. And it's gonna be nice and tidied up. All right, so Dotto got that all uh, tightened up and harnessed in. We're gonna wait before we zip tie it to this guy because we're gonna do the uh, rear reservoir. But first thing you wanna check is make sure the rear brake light works. Teens. We got lights? Hey, we got lights. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, so unplugging, unplugging, <laughs> unscrewing the rear reservoir, Jesus. Unbolting. Oh my god. Unbolting the stock rear reservoir. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Get out of here, poopy stock reservoir. We've had enough. Gotta replace it with this sexy ass reservoir right here. And now she blows, Captain. Look at that. So much better. In with the old, out oh, in. In with the old, out with the new. <laughs> Laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up. Next step. Sucker. Suck out the anal baster, as That's my father would so say. Gross. Teens, you know you like it. <laughs> How she blows, Captain. Okay, so unhooking that bad boy, handing off the teens, and swapping the new one on there. We like when shit works, don't we, Dotto? Oh, we sure do. Freaking fantastic. In Dada's garage, everything works. <laughs> Except for your truck and your lawnmowers. <laughs> It'll eat through your skin. I wanted to show Dado, we got some uh, spy shots of the Panigale V4R. Look at it. Let's hear this bad boy. Why does it look so little? What do you mean? The whole bike looks like a pit bike. Can we turn this up? Turn that shit up. It's a track bike, man. What do you mean? Look at it. So the fairing's all different. See that? It's got that little BMW shark fin going on. I like that a lot better. It doesn't come up over the stupid tank. It's like all the stuff I complained about, they fixed. Well played, Ducati. Well played. But yeah, Panigale R. I'll, t I'll show you the one thing I don't like about it. The gas tank extends like six inches out at the bottom, you'll see. Because, I mean, for racing purposes, I'm sure having extra fuel really matters. But, Look how light that looks. Oh, it looks ridiculous, dude. And again, this is just a prototype. Oh. See the tank? Wow. Yeah, it looks like dick and balls. Listen to it, though. And then, the, the dude, the, the pipes are a little tiny. They don't even come out. Listen to it. Listen to it. I love this one. Oh. See the pipes, how they're real tiny? Now again, there might be exhaust that come off of those, I don't know. But look at that. See that That gas is the muffler. It is, yeah. But look at the gas tank. What the hell is that? 
And again, they'll clean all of this up for the for the November 4th. I think they're announcing it. Pretty badass, right? <laughs> what do you think, Dotto? I like it. Yeah. I need one. Uh-huh. All right, we got it all sorted out there. Got all the wires tidied up. Looks freaking phenomenal. And we're gonna fill her up right now. We're gonna pump it a couple times, see if any air comes out, and then we'll be good to go. All right, there you go, guys. Phenomenal job, Dotto. Looks freaking fantastic. And then as you see, the rear brake. Nice. Cool. So I think since we got a little bit of time here, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, Speedo protector. So that's what we'll work on next. All right, so we got all of our instructions here. It's just like putting on a phone, uh, what are they called? Screen protector. Screen yes, protector. just like putting on a phone uh, screen protector. Um, they sent us four of them. So there's two anti-glare and two ultra clear. I think uh, anti-glare, what do you think? Yeah, we can send the other ones with the, with the new owner. Yeah, we'll send them along. So we're gonna, we're gonna do the anti-glare and we're gonna do it right now. Starting off by dusting it off. <laughs> <laughs> Teens little uh, smokies are doing a good job in there. My little smokies. Look at her. Brought to you by Speedo Angels. Motor million. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Was well, a little dirty. A little filthy it's there. Saw that 650E oh, crying tears filthy. when oh. I was smacking him down. Oh. <laughs> you know what he would say? Jared. Jared. Step two is using some actual spray to clean her all, clean her off. What? Nothing. Is it not step two? No, it is step two. Oh, you were okay. right. You were correct. Uh, I just want to talk to him. <laughs> Actually, step two, you're supposed to spray on and leave it on wet. Really? Leave it on wet? Leave well, it on. I would clean it first. All right, next step is to spray the stuff on there and then just leave it like that. <laughs> oh my God. Everywhere. Really? Get it on That's how you're supposed to do it? Uh, we're, yeah. We're That's, the there's no freaking way this is gonna work. There's no way this is gonna work. Don't tell me you're spraying that too. Yep. Jeez Louise Hernandez. Dotto's gone. He's gone overboard. He's gone off. Nice. Yeah, he's gone off the deep end. Yep. He lost 30 pounds and now he's lost his damn mind. <laughs> I didn't have a mind to begin with. <laughs> Don't start with that BS with me. All right, let's see how he does. Those big old sausage fingers. Man, it's really wet. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the wetness allows you to move it around uh, where you need to. Look yeah, at that. I gotta get in there. All right, do your thing. And then you basically, they give you these squeegees that you use to push all of the uh, moisture outside with. And then it comes out looking Primo. They don't tell you that if you have sausage hands or sausage fingers that you just freaking can't get in here. <laughs> so I'm like, uh -huh. uh. All right, and then the final thing is peeling off the uh, topmost part. This is the part where it actually should look good when he pulls it off. Let's see. Oh, oh what happened? No. The whole what thing happened? pulled off. No way. Yeah. Did it really? Yeah. Oh, I can't move it. I can't. Amateur. I can't move it. I can't move it. Oh and ladies and no. gentlemen, that's how they give you two. Oh god. Is you it, stop it. Is it worth it? Can you save it? Hell yeah. Oh okay. All right, so check it out. We got it on there. Let's see the anti glare. Let's see how good it looks. We got lights right above us, and it actually works really well. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks fantastic. What are you doing, teens? I'm trying to cover the light. No, it's fine. That's, I wanted to show what it looks like. It, in person, it looks really good, guys. It's way less glare. Obviously, going through the glass in the camera, it's going to look like there's some glare. But there isn't. So there you go. But the owner gets three more of those. Yeah, so. uh, yeah, we'll send them along with you guys. So there's the beautiful Rizoma um, reservoirs, the Speedo uh, protection, and then, of course, the rear Rizoma reservoir, along with the rear brake switch. And that concludes this episode of the Carbon V4 series, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you, Dotto, for your hard work. Yep. Thank you, Christina, for just doing being here. Yeah, just for hanging out. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we've only got a couple of episodes left before we're going to be choosing a winner of this bad, bad motorcycle. 226 crank horsepower, 395 pounds, one of the lightest, fastest Panigales in the world, full carbon. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous machine. So, check out the links in the description if you want to enter this bad boy. It's a Patreon page. If you want to get any of the parts we installed, there's links to the Moto Million website along with discount codes. Subscribe for more. Tell your friends. Tell your family. See you guys.